Good morning, everyone. This is this is Aaron Hightoff. I'm the Director of Marketing and Agency Services for, for Markel Specialty, uh, and very excited to have this exclusive group uh, attend our presentation of Insured Mind. Uh, one of the things uh, that I, I noticed was a consistent theme uh, from the agency council meetings we held late last year was that it would be great for Markel to find new solutions and tools that could help you all as agents grow and retain your business. And very pleased to say that we believe that one of those potential solutions uh, is the Insured Mind platform that we will present to you today. Uh, but before I get into introducing our presenter and, and the Insured Mind platform, uh, I just wanted to address a few admin items on the flow of, of how this meeting will go. Uh, if you have any, any questions, please submit them in, uh, to the Q&A button at the bottom of your ON24 platform. You should see that at the bottom of the window there. Uh, any submitted questions will be held until the end of the meeting to be addressed either on the call or individually post-meeting. Uh, if you do not want them to be addressed on the call, just please specify that in the question that you submit. And the other thing that we're excited to offer to you today is if you're interested in taking advantage of the six-month free trial of the Insured Mind platform sponsored by Markel, please submit that interest through the Q&A section and the first 10 uh, agents to submit that during this presentation. Uh, will receive the trial for free for that six-month run. I believe that uh, Rasha and our presenter will also have a special offer for anybody in addition to those 10 uh, that are, are interested in utilizing the Insured Mind platform as we go forward. So with that, I'll transition into talking a little bit about Insured Mind and, uh, and our presenter. So this consumer-facing app uh, includes features such as an insurance wallet for any and all insurance products for your insureds, an AI-driven chatbot to handle customer service items in an efficient manner, uh, a social media monitor to watch for potential coverage gaps and alert you to that to potentially um, uh, make your insurance aware of those, ga of those gaps. And then the agency portal feature, which Roshan will go over, enables agencies to make the right decisions at the right time for the right customers through automation and configuration. These are just a few of the highlights of the product features. It integrates seamlessly with any agency management system your agency may currently be using, that you may currently be using, excuse me. Uh, and we are pleased to have the CEO and co-founder of the Insured Mind platform with us today to walk us through the value it provides to you and your customers. Roshan Jaswal is a serial entrepreneur with over 15 years of experience in finance and technology consulting for Fortune 500 companies. Insured Mind is his second startup with focus on customer experience and innovation. And Roshan is customer obsessed, and he believes that customer relationships is the key to success of any business. So without further ado, I'm going to pass it over to Roshan to uh, go over his presentation and do a live demo of the InsureMind platform. Roshan? All right. Wonderful. Thanks, Aaron. First of all, um, thank you, everyone, for attending this uh, webinar. And special thank you to Markel and Aaron for hosting us for this wonderful opportunity to present what we think is the next wave of innovation for digitization and mobility that is taking insurance um, product a step ahead. As we have been hearing a lot about happening in the insure tech space, a lot of solutions are coming up. One thing we have felt short of is how are these solutions helping us to not only have a better customer experience, but also trying to connect with our customers in a way which has never happened in the past. And that is the focus of our product as well as my presentation today is how we are helping insurance agencies, whether it's on the personal and commercial side, and how it is taking forward in terms of connecting their customers with their agency and building that long-lasting relations. As we understand that commoditization of products are happening, but where there is a relationship, we have seen that a relationship has helped not only increase the business, but retain the customers. So without uh, taking much of the time, let's go into what is that solution that we are talking about. We are talking about a unified digital platform that is helping agents and agencies retain more and sell more, because we understand that there is, if, even if there is a slight increase in retention, it creates significant profit and a better digital experience will help agents sell more. And how are we doing this? There's two primary components of our product. One is uh, agent portal, and second is a customer app. Agent portal usually uh, it's basically connects with the back end of any agency management systems 
and it connects on the front end with the customer app that any of your customers would have. Um, and how are we doing this? So if you look at this uh, screen where we are laying out four components from the top left, as we say, the agent portal, and if we are trying to visualize how our product fit into the uh, value chain of your agency, imagine this is the front end of your agency management system or any other tool that you are using which goes to the last mile connectivity of your customers. So that agent portal connects seamlessly with any of your agency management tool or the systems that you are using. We are working with several of those um, industry larger vendors, whether it's Vertafor, EasyLinks, Technary, Applied, all of these solutions are working uh, very well with, with our agency portal. And the beauty of that is once it is connected to our agency portal, it connects on the front end with the customer on the app or the web that they are using. Especially in the commercial space, as we understand, there is a long list of uh, policies that a customer may have. And that is where it becomes equally important that these things can be managed, tracked, and have notifications or reminders that will help not only the customers, but you be on top of the policy management and be effective in terms of uh, retention as well as uh, increasing any kind of opportunity that exists for cross-sell and upsell. So um, looking at the features overview, agency portal connects on the front end with a chat bot that connects with the customer. So if we are moving from left top to right top, which connects at the bottom uh, right, as you can see, it flows from the chat bot connects the agency portal to the customer, whereas um, a customer, if they do not have an app, they can connect it on the web. So it is a 360 comprehensive solution that goes from a web to app. Seamlessly, it integrates all those pieces. One thing I want to highlight at this point is we have worked very hard from day one on integration. We understand the value of a product is no more uh, in isolation rather than the value is in how well it integrates. And we consider our product to be the front end of that AMS. And our integrations will uh, is not only with the AMS, but also with Salesforce or any other deal flow application that you all are using or with the email systems that you are using. Most of them are plug and play as soon as you onboard a customer. Um, talking about the feature, as we understand that the value is also flowing from left to right from a customer to an agent because a customer will have a better customer experience they will have a better return on uh, investment because now their investment in terms of the time and making sure nothing falls through the crack is much better than, than in the past because they were tracking things on paper or uh, something on an email or an attachment, but now everything is in one place. And I'm going to show that in a bit, how that all flows together. Whereas for the agent, it is a better customer insight because now you not only see all the policies you have sold to that customer, but also the entire portfolio of that customer. And that will create opportunity for you to sell more to that customer because now you understand where there might be a potential gap or what is that upsell opportunity for that customer. I want to quickly highlight a couple of um, testimonials from our current customers. And one thing that you would see is very consistent and I'm glad and pleased with that is they, they not only believe in the product, they are using it on a day-to-day -day basis and, uh, and seeing the value that it delivers from the retention perspective as well as from cross-sell and upsell perspective. So without taking much of your time, we'll, we'll dive deeper into the product. Um, let me know if you guys can see the screen. Aaron, uh, let me know. So this is a quick preview of our, uh, this is a demo site that we have created for our agency portal. So what happens in this is all the data about your customers, uh, their premium, the carriers associated with it, is all pulled from your uh, agency management system. And that is, as I said, is a snapshot that is taken on a regular basis and gets updated. 
whereas we are also building APIs where it will be real time with any agency management system that you guys are working with. So uh, I would be more than happy to hear from you all if you want to quickly answer on the Q&A which agency management system you guys are using. That will give me a better understanding of how we can quickly onboard you once you start using our solution. But I want to talk about three or four key components that we are using on this uh, dashboard. And again, the dashboard is not just about showing some pretty visuals, but it is also about making or showing actionable events. For example, uh, customers by location, we get to map all our customer where they are in, in whatever geolocation they are as well as um, it is helping us know which policies will expire over the, uh, in the, which month. And this will not only give me a snapshot of which uh, category of policies are expiring, but it also gives me a, a ability to email, mass email these uh, customers, give them a reminder of your policies are expiring and how do we retain that customer back in our portfolio. And that is done by mass email, and I'm going to talk about that in a bit. Um, so whether it's about geolocation, demographics of the customer, um, what kind of line of business they have, what carriers they are working, it all comes in one snapshot in this uh, dashboard. And again, as I said, this is all actionable, so everything can be clicked and added. So next three components, customer policies and carrier on the left navigation bar, what you see is basically going deeper into each of those uh, looking it from the lens of um, my customers or all the policies I have or all the carriers. But one thing uh, is pretty interesting I want to show you here is about my customer. So let me pick a customer here. Let's say Michael. So what do we see here? This is, uh, this is what we call a 360 view of my customer and this is very interesting. Um, so you can see there are four tabs, overview, policy, info, events, and chat history. Overview gives me everything about my customer, their personal information, the policies they have, um, any detail about their work, education, family, pet, anything else. At the same time, it also gives me all the policies they have with us or any policies that has expired or is by another customer, or by any other uh, carrier that we have not sold. So that creates an opportunity to sell those more policies. It also tracks anything that we are, and I'm going to dive deeper into the deal flow where we talk about how we are capturing any information about that customer or when we are tracking any opportunity with that customer. That All that information is going to show up right here. And as, it, as Aaron was mentioning, it, can, uh, it is integrated with the AI-driven chatbot which means any conversation we have with the customer will show up right here. So let's go into policy. I'm going to show you one quick thing here. Um, so so Alex, let's say when I click Alex, you see there is 0 by 10, which means if I look at the policy here, there are zero policies that I have sold him. but we are giving this app to the customer and customer is using this app as a default insurance wallet which means they bring all their insurance they have on this platform just for the convenience of managing them together and that gives us an opportunity down the line to see which policy that we are able to uh, propose them with a better code and be able to bring it in-house so that is a wonderful cross-sell or upsell opportunity for us as you can see in this case, uh, there are three policies that the customer has, which we ha which is not in our current book. So those are an opportunity when, so we will track it accordingly when they are about to expire and we bring them in. Similarly, on the event side, um, anything that we are tracking when we send an email to them or you know add an activity in terms of meeting, task, email, lunch, all those get tracked. So the other benefit of using this is now if you have any other sales force or any other CRM or prospecting tool, that can be either integrated with this or you, if you don't have, then you don't need one because you can use this for your prospect management, which allows you, you know, any of these products like Pipedrive or any of those uh, things that you can 
uh, use it in our case. This also comes with any uh, chat that you have with your customers. So we can, if I click Alex here, it's going to show me his chat window and any conversation I have had with, the, uh, with Alex will show up right here. So that creates an opportunity for us to make sure all the information is in our book of record. Nothing goes here or there or it does not get uh, deleted. Uh, so we are able to track that information. Um, I want to take a minute and talk about um, auto task list. As we understand that the flow is generated from, uh, this flow is generated from our notification. As you can see on the top right, there is this notification. There are 80 notifications in, uh, that I get to see. Um, and I can pick and choose any of those notifications which I think is a task so that they do not fall through the crack and I'm, unless I finish that task, um, it shows up in my auto task list. So let's take a quick example here. Um, I'm going to click on this and it gets added to my task list here. And usually what comes in this task auto task list is basically a renewal or any of the profile or information update that the customer makes. Again, let's take a step back and think about why we are doing all this whether it's about the auto task or trying to understand our customer. There is two primary reasons, as we said early in our presentation. The idea is to have a better understanding of our customer, so we are able to have a much more contextual communication with the customer. And second is letting them know or be aware of what their profile looks like so we can tell them what other policies they may need, which creates an opportunity for upsell and cross-sell. So this is about auto task list. Um, as I was talking earlier about deal board uh, in terms of prospecting. So for example, let's say uh, there's a BOP insurance for you and Infotech. You can literally manage uh, all the task or activity about that policy until it is sold in this particular task flow, which allows you to take notes, uh, send email, add activities, or add files, and those things will show up. So in the past, we have a, there is a note that we have, and in the future, as it's planned, there's a, meet, a lunch meeting scheduled. So that gives you a very clear understanding of everything consolidated about that customer will show up right here. And I'll go back to my customer here one more time. Alex. So as I mentioned earlier, this is a wonderful 360 view snapshot of overview, his policy info, events, and chat history. And this is, this is the core of the product on the agent portal because now you bring everything you know about a customer right in one place. Um, similarly, from the mail perspective, we understand that um, sending email, when you have a book of business of you know, thousands of customers, sending individual email might be cumbersome and it is time taking. So we are building components that will allow you to send mass email, whether it's about uh, birthday wishes or whether it's about um, any cross-sell opportunity or reminders for policy renewals, this all can be automated. And once they are all set, they are good to go. So you don't have to do or update those kind of information on a regular basis. And you can draw a lot of the text for these emails by creating templates. I'm going to quickly show you, if you go to the profile, below profile, there is a setting if I click on that setting, that allows you to add templates. You can add templates. Um, you can add, uh, connect your Google account. Uh, and this is where you are adding all the stages for your deal flow. So there are a few settings that allows you to do things like that. Another equally important thing is reports. We are paying special attention to reporting. If we don't understand numbers, it will not be easy for us to say how we are doing. So our report built on latest technology are easily downloadable and can be customized. So let's take a quick look what I mean by that. So it is all web rendered. So what you are seeing is your current book of business, but this can be filtered or 
um, look in a way you want. For example, I just want to know my policy number and customer name and category, so I can take all this information out. So as you can see, um, real time it is changing the information I need. And once you have applied that, you can download that report. It is as simple as that. Similarly for your book of business as well as personal customer data. So these are some of the very basic things that a customer uses to understand what it is um, in his current book of business that can be automated um, in terms of communication as well as uh, look for opportunities that will help them cross sell and upsell more. Um, another feature I want to show you here is about the chat. As I mentioned earlier, this chat is a point of connection with your agency to the customer. So a customer has an app and in his app, which I'm going to show in a bit, has the ability to connect with that uh, with the with the agent, and when he sends a uh, e message through that chat, it if you are active or online, it will show that message on you, or he gets a response that a particular agent is not available at this point and will connect with you shortly or as soon as he's available. So things like that, it creates that kind of a connectivity. Only channel connectivity, which was which is unprecedented. You know, earlier we have seen we had to send an email, wait for another several hours to get a response. Now we are changing that rule of the game. It is all instant and it is only channel. And similarly for the my profile for an agent, um, we bring in all the information about that agent and connect it with um, social media and everything else. So this, this is basically uh, what we call a comprehensive uh, backend for an agent. This is the agency portal. But this is half the product because the value of this comes in once we connect this to the front end, which is on the customer side. Reason being, on the customer side, the app is so so informative for that customer and it's so responsive that it is not only helping them be aware and be able to get the information it, he needs, but also able to feed the information back to you, which sometimes is very time consuming and cumbersome to know about your customer's profile or what has changed. So let's take a quick second um, and look at what does that look like. So this is a quick preview of our app. So while we connect the app here, I want to also show you how it connects, uh, how the web version of the customer portal looks like. So as a customer, I have 10 policies with my premium of 4,000 and how many policies card I have added and policy profile. So as we, one thing to understand here is, as a customer of an agency, I don't need to add any information to start with. An agency sends a request to the customer, hey, we have this wonderful app for you. And the moment that customer signs up, he sees all the policy that um, the agency has sold them. So that is automatic, but it's definitely uh, through security, we have verified that it is the uh, right user who is seeing these policies. So that is one quick thing is the customer is able to see all the policies that you have sold them, but on top of it, it also creates an opportunity for them to add any other policies that they have. Whether uh, They can do it two, two ways. One, they can manually enter those policies or they can, they can upload the insurance card and the policy document. So in the dashboard, another thing I want to show you here is um, other tools that is available to the to the customer, whether it's about any kind of a calculator or if it is a, for a PNC customer or home risk cap, where if I click here and put in an address, it gives me what kind of a risk that particular property has. So for Earth, this particular house is in a Earth earthquake zone. There is a high crime and there is a radon effect. And for fire, there is a drought as well as a wildfire. So there are 
multiple factors that we bring in to show what kind of a risk profile is available in that particular house. So trying to connect the So that in a nutshell is what we have on the agency portal and on the app side let me quickly bring that up Say hey, Roshan while you're bringing that up I, I have a, uh, a few questions I can ask you I guess in the meantime Absolutely go ahead so one of the big questions is just ease of integration uh, into the AMS system and just the um, types of AMS systems that are compatible with, with InsuredMind. Absolutely. So right now we are working with uh, several of these um, uh, agency management systems, as I mentioned earlier. So at this point, none of these agency management systems has taken us more than a week. So it is literally a plug and play. Uh, and again, as I mentioned, you know, whether it's, uh, we are working with a couple of the bigger vendors in a much more deeper collaboration, which will be real time API driven. Uh, so, so for AMS, I think at this point, we have passed that hurdle in terms of um, having any difficulty with integration. Okay, great. And then one of the questions, I know you're going to cover this at the end, but one of the questions was uh, if using the Insured Mind platform on the desktop, your desktop, um, do you have to be logged in to see the chat or is there a desktop app for the chat? So, yeah, right now the chat is only available on the mobile app. Okay. Yeah, that's a good question. Thanks, Aaron. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, so fortunately we are connected now. Um, so this is what you see as a customer app, and there is, it is designed with a lot of thinking in terms of what is it that a customer needs to start with. And definitely these are the seven core and the most important things, which is I need to know about my agent or my agency I work with. So Praveen is the agent that I'm working with, with his company called Coverage Direct. Um, total policies I have, what is my premium, uh, how many, if I have any update or notification, if I need to add a policy, and my profile and chatbot. So let's take a quick uh, snapshot of what does that uh, information look like when I tap on Praveen. So that gives me the entire detail about him, whether, how do I connect with him, whether it's through phone number, phone, or through chat, or uh, email him. So this is just connecting with your agent in a snapshot you know it was never this easy with all kind of communication but from one platform and one place second thing is about total policy when i click that it gives me the list of the policies i have today and this goes deeper in terms of everything about that policy is captured along with the insurance card or the insurance document right there and definitely it gives me some visuals in terms of how my policies, um, how much premium I'm paying and what is that distribution of that premium um, annually as well as what is my monthly uh, payment frequency or the schedule for my payment over the period of time. Update, so, um, so this was a notification. Hi, your profile has been updated by agent. Click here to know the details. So if, a customer, if an agent is updating my profile, because right now this is so transparent that we both, whatever profile information I have as a customer is the same information that an agent has. And if he's updating the information as a customer, I get to know. So this is all kind of building on the transparency as well as the information that both prefer to share. Um, next thing, as we are talking about the profile, this this is a neat thing, and from an agency perspective, I'm sure you guys are going to love it, because we understand how difficult it is to pull information, or, or, you know, it takes a lot of time, and most of the time our information is stale. 
So bringing this in front of customer gives them an opportunity to uh, be able to manage that information and keep it updated. So whether it's about their work, whether it's about education, family, pet, house, uh, vehicle assets. And some of them are relevant in PNC space and several of them are relevant in the commercial space. So we kind of draw that distinction depending on what kind of a policy that customer is using. Similarly, so one of the key, uh, flagship feature of our product is the chatbot. And as Alan was just mentioning, um, there are multiple ways how you are chatting with your agent. Um, it can be uh, you just tap in the question. Second is you can type in the question or you can talk to the chatbot. So let's start with tapping in. So one of the questions it asks is show me my active policies. So if I tap in my show in my active policy, it says choose a category. You know, if I want to see all of them, boom, it's going to show me. And I'm sure you are also observing the reflex of this chatbot, how quickly it responds to a thing. And see, that is something which may be very intuitive, but trust me, it takes a lot of time to fine tune a product to be that responsive. And we definitely take a pride in doing that. Um, so that is one way, or if I want to type in a question to ask one of these uh, features from my chatbot, let's say, show me my policy document. Boom. Then it again asks which policy document you want to see, I want to see all. So whichever policy document has been updated will show. Um, there are other questions that comes up here. Show me my premium distribution. Yes, I'm good. Uh, so it will show you which uh, whichever car, premium distribution for whichever category. Show me my risk score. So it's going to ask. So there are multiple factors of things that we have added that either you can ask or you can tap in to know more about. Um, at the bottom, as you can see, there are notifications about that uh, that we showed, and all the documents, all the insurance documents are placed in one place. So, you know, I'm sure the customers sometimes request you, hey, send me my insurance document, and this is the, the most uh, common question. Now, once that document is pushed on this app, there is no reason for you to send documents all over again. You can send them the link to the app. Hey, here is all your documents that it's sitting. So that's one easy and convenience. And we have been working with a lot of agencies, and that is one thing they say, Roshan, we just love it, because now I have that customer who used to ask me, where is my document? And that, that request is gone, and I can use that time to do something more valuable. And I'm sure that uh, things like that kind of helps each of us to figure out what can we do better. There are other tools we have added on this end in terms of mortgage calculators, accidental checklist. You know, if, uh, if the car hits, uh, has an accident, you know, what kind of uh, information I need to capture. So those kind of information gets uh, captured on this end. Hey, so, hey Roshan, on the, on the chatbot tool, does it notify the agent that the chatbot tool is being utilized? And how can the agent engage with an insured via the, the chat feature? Absolutely. So yes, um, for example, the moment I am uh, selecting this chatbot and I'm saying connect to my agent, um, that somewhere. so if I go to my agent and say chatbot, where, so it is going to connect to my agent directly. So these are my two agents, and the moment I pick one, that conversation, as I was showing you on that other screen, that's going to pop up right here. So the agent would not need to have the app loaded on their on their phone because they wouldn't do it through desktop, correct? They can do it from the desktop, correct? They can do it from the desktop. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you know, that's a good question. Um, yeah, so they don't. Uh, customer needs it on the app, 
but the agent can do it from the desktop. So yeah, that's a feature built in. And another thing, as I mentioned earlier, any conversation that agent has with uh, has with the customer, it is not disappearing. It is all showing up in my customer uh, conversation uh, overview. So in this chat history right here, all that conversation I had with Praveen is going to show up. And this chatbot can be used by the agent uh, for, by the customer to do multiple things. It's not only about um, knowing information about your policy. So that is one thing. Second is it is also about connecting with the agent. Third is about getting a quote from the agent. As you can see, you know, I can send information through the chatbot, and I will receive a quote from the agent. That's another thing that can be done. Other thing they can do is update information about their profile, about their assets, right from this. Um, they don't have to. They don't have to go into a particular profile section because that is one thing we are building over the period of time is making customer use chat heavily. So that means customer don't have to look at anything else and they can focus on chat and all that information and solution is gonna feed through the chat. That is the long-term solution coming out of this. There will be all the features available, but the focus will be through the chat. So that's, that's in a nutshell is what this product is um, about. Um, it's 11.09, I just want to make sure I'm cognizant of the time. Um, and if you want, Aaron, we can open up for questions and take some of those uh, to answer. Yeah, so I got through a decent amount, but if anybody has any questions before we wrap up, certainly send them through uh, now. One thing that did come up that I didn't ask you yet, Roshan, was post the six-month trial uh, sponsored by Markel, what would the price look like in terms of the monthly subscription to Insured Mine? Mm -hmm. So that will be um, case by case basis, but you know, depending on the size of the agency. Right now, you know, we have kind of created a one-time deal which is unprecedented. You know, and you know, Markel is our strategic partner, and we have known you guys for a while now through GIA. So you know, it, it is all worth it. But at the same time, uh, as I mentioned, right now our standard pricing is somewhere between 199. To 3.99, but uh, depending on the size of that agency, it will fit somewhere there. Okay, great. Let me check if there's any other questions. And I think we we covered most of them. So uh, this is being recorded, so we'll provide this to everybody on the call in case they'd like to review anything uh, from the demo and the presentation. We thank you for your time today, and uh, Roshan, thank you for presenting. So we'll go ahead and wrap up with that. All right. Thank you, everyone, for your time and patience. Um, thank you, Aaron, for hosting us. Looking forward to hearing more questions back from team. You bet. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.